Hello and welcome to this special edition of the Under Center Podcast. This YouTube exclusive edition of our bets show will help you try and beat the bookies heading into week three of the regular season. Hopefully get you a few bob and, of course, make ourselves a bit of money too. I am with me today. I have Fionn Malloy. I had Jake last week giving me a few bets. Fionn, we uh, we have you on board today. Last week didn't go too well for us, but we're hoping for a change of fortune this week. Yeah, I'm pretty good with the bets. I've made my millions from from gambling, so hopefully I can share my wealth of knowledge with everybody here. Yeah, you have made your millions, but you know what you've also done is one thing that is very important is that you gambled responsibly, and that's what yes, we encourage as well. Make absolutely. sure you do gamble responsibly if you are going to put a few quid on the football this weekend but Fionn since um it's your first time on the show let uh why don't you tell us uh your uh your bet for the weekend yeah so i have a couple of uh a couple of bets all going into one we'll do a triple header uh the first part of that is the giants are giving minus three to the falcons i think all day long the Giants can cover that. I, I think they go over that. So I would definitely be taking them. The next part of that is the Cardinals against the Jags. They're given 51 and a half points total for that at the moment. I don't think the Jags can score and keep up with the Cardinals. And I don't think the Cardinals can score 51 and a half points. So I'm going to take the under on that game. And then Ooh, I'm going to okay. throw in a bet for my Washington football team against the Buffalo Bills. I don't think we'll do too bad. It'll be a real struggle to win that game, but I think uh, there'll be plenty of points to be had, and I'm going to take the over at 45 and a half points. I think combined those teams should be able to do that. Okay, interesting, interesting. It's a very bold bet to bet the under, um, and especially in such a high-scoring offense like the Cardinals. Um with some defensive frailties as well. You saw the, the, the game that they were involved in last Sunday against the Vikings. Um, so it's interesting that, you, that you're going with the under on that. Yeah, I just don't trust that Jags offense. I I can easily see a goose egg. And if that happens, it doesn't matter how hot your offense is. You're going to be really struggling to get over 51 and a half. Oh, oh you understand. You understand. So what are the odds on that? Uh, if you uh, if you at the time of recording, I should say we're recording this on a on a Wednesday, so the odds will pro might not be the same, probably won't be the same. But if you are watching this later, yeah, you're gonna get almost just under six to one on that. So I think that's a pretty good return. They're yeah. not the wildest bets out there, but it's something to keep you interested in the games. Uh, and I would keep an eye. I reckon the Giants will probably go up as we get closer to the game, but uh, I would definitely keep an eye on that. If you get some nicer odds than that, I, I would be hammering that pretty hard. Yeah, exactly. It's not always about the big massive bets, about keeping it ticking over, keeping the, mm -hmm. keeping that uh, th that wallet ticking over and keeping it going so you can uh, have some money for next week so you don't have to dip into it. Um, my one actually is three teams as well, and two of the games are similar to yours um so first of all i i'm betting the, the cardinals and a uh, jaguars game as well but i'm not betting the under over i'm actually going to take cardinals at minus seven and a half um i think that's i never like going any more than over a touchdown normally because it's such a big margin for error error i should say but like that i don't trust this jaguars team not just their offense i don't trust this jaguars team at all enough to keep up with with the cardinals and i don't know how they will stop uh kyler murray at sorry excuse me kyler murray and uh, deandre hopkins so i think that the cardinals could be good to win that by two scores for sure uh in the giants game similar to you i'm going with the giants minus three i think that they are being very kind to Atlanta, especially because they did score a couple of points and kept it close with Tampa Bay last weekend up until the third quarter. But I think that we might see a change with the Giants here. Will that they do um, finally get over, uh, get get that win on the board, I should say, um, because they're, they're going to need to. Um, if they want to stay relevant in the division and winner. So I think the, the needs of that is they do want to progress this year. Obviously, with Atlanta also 0-2 at the same time, their need to win is probably not as as 
uh, as great as the Giants. So I think that that will prevail too. I still think it'll be a close enough game, but I think I still think they can win it by more than a field goal. And the last one is I'm going with an over under as well. I'm actually going to go with over the over points in the Browns and the Bears game. Justin Fields has been confirmed that he will start that game. So um, I'd like to think that that um, will represent some extra points in this game. Currently it's over 46 and a half. And I, I think, I think both sides would be worthy of that. The, uh, and the Browns offense has been pretty good so far this year, of course, with Chubb and, and Hunt running and, and Baker Mayfield has, I think he's the second most accurate quarterback through two games this year. So, you know, I th- I think there's a chance there. Similar, about six to one at the, this time of recording. Again, it could probably change. It will probably change whether you're putting this bet on on Saturday evening or, or Sunday morning. So um, I think those three um, would be my, uh, my standouts for this week. Yeah, uh, the only thing that I'd be a little bit worried about is the Justin Fields part of the equation. Uh, if you want a cheeky side bet, I wouldn't be surprised if he chose three interceptions this weekend. Don't know okay. if you'll find somewhere that will give you odds on that. Uh, but it could be a good going. We've seen a uh, new quarterback struggle a little bit. It hasn't been all their own way. Zach Wilson obviously last week had a nightmare weekend. And I just think the Browns are quite a good defense. So we'll see how he performs. I think there will be a lot of people watching that game very closely, whether or not they've got a bit of money on it or not. Yeah, for sure. Um, and of course, Jake is not here to sort of give us his bet for the week. Um, but we have it here. He actually has sent it to us. Um, he has no. Uh, we're recording, like I said, we're recording this on Wednesday, so he has added in the Thursday night football game. Um, so by the time this goes out, you know it, it won't matter because obviously you'd be watching this on Friday or, or Saturday. But he has he thinks that the Panthers will be able to cover a minus eight point spread against the Texans. And um, he is also adding in he he believes the Cardinals minus seven and a half is is worthy of putting a bet on as well. And he's going with an over fifty five and a half points in the Kansas City Chiefs and uh, L.A. Raiders game. Um, so. Interesting, very interesting. I'll just very quickly here. Um, I'll just take the he has it's about six to one at the moment for that too. I'm going to take out the Panthers and see what the odds are just for a double in, in that here. If you just um hold on very briefly, so let's have a look total points. He's going with the over. So if you want to do a double, it's about three to one. If you want to do a double on that, which actually is not a pretty, it's not a bad double. You put ten around, you're going to get forty quid back. So it could be a decent double, but what do you think about uh, Jake's bets there, Phil? Yeah, I think on the Panthers game, he's going to have to have the Panthers do that in the first half. They've been quite slow in the second half, but I I could see them doing that. I think an eight-point spread, while it's big, I think they should be able to do it. I just don't trust the Texans with the rookie quarterback to be able to put enough points on the board to keep that within eight. Uh, The Cardinals and the Jaguars... That should be as well. I think we both agree that the the Cardinals should be much better than the Jaguars in that game. Shouldn't be close. So again, two high spreads he's gone for, but I agree with him. I'm not sure I put my money there, but I would certainly agree with him. And then the Chargers and the Chiefs, that both have been very high scoring offenses. 55 and a half again is quite a big number to reach. But if two teams can do it, it's certainly those two teams. Definitely. And and you know what's going to happen now this weekend because we all three of us have picked the Cardinals. That's going to be the trap game this weekend. Blowout. Blowout yeah. game against them. Yeah. Easy yeah. peasy. It's going to... Well, no, I was going to say it's going to be the trap game. It's going to be... Uh, the Jaguars will probably do something that weekend, you know? Because yeah. it always takes about four weeks before you really know what a team is going to do for the rest oh, of the year. Trevor you know? Lawrence, five touchdowns, no interceptions. <laughs> just blows it out of the water. I could easily see that happening. Well, look, the, those um, those Carolina cornerbacks aren't the best either. So we'll see. But I think the likes of J.J. Watt and Chandler Jones will have him wrapped up well before he has the chance to throw to his wide receivers anyway. So, mm-hmm. But we'll, we'll wait and see on Sunday. But like that's it. That's... That is all our bets for this week. If you like any of them, um, let us know how you get on. If you don't like them and you would like to tell us your own bet that you'd like for this weekend, just say a comment underneath the video and let us know or get us on any of our social pages at UndercenterPod on uh, Twitter, the exact same at UndercenterPod on Instagram. That's where you get us there. Contact us and let us know what bets you're going for this weekend as well. But until next time, stay safe and we'll see you soon.